Hey Taurus, it's Sahara Stars with Illum Astrology doing your mid-month um, June 2019 Love Tarot reading. Please keep in mind that these are general messages. They will not resonate with all of you. Um, those of you new to my channel, welcome. This is my first time trying out um, in the relationship aspect my Druid um, Animal Oracle card. I've been using the Druid Craft Tarot deck for a while and I found that these are good for describing the energies or personality traits of a person, although nothing really beats astrology. Um, I'm going to give it a shot to see what comes up for you guys. This is probably going to be likely for those of you that are involved in a relationship and it could be any relationship, family member, friend, love relationship. Um, you have to pick and see if it applies to you. If the messages don't resonate with you, then the reading likely isn't for you. Um, you can check out my general readings, overall view, monthly readings for um, the month um, to get your overview. Um, so let's get started and see if we can get an animal card for the person that Taurus is inquiring about. Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You can also listen to the love reading for your rising sign or your moon sign to see if that resonates with your situation. Please give me an animal card for both Taurus and their partner. All right. So Taurus, we got your partner coming up, or please feel free to reverse the roles um, because these are general readings. They can be either or. Your partner is coming up as the ram and the ram is somebody that doesn't give up very persistent um, it can be an aries person but it doesn't have to be um, this is a person that can be headstrong a little bit stubborn um, and this is uh, this could be temporary energy that they're uh, embodying um, for now um, just like astrology has its transits that affect us temporarily or or long term um, so this could be you coming out headstrong um, going after what it what you want feeling bold feeling courageous or this could be your partner or the person of interest um, I feel like this person is is definitely uh, focused on what it what what he wants he or she wants um, they may be coming across argumentative or forthright with you um, you could be feeling like they're putting demands on you or expectations on you, like it's now or never <laughs> type of energy. Um, but let's take a look and see what else I can get on here. They're definitely uh, bold and courageous and could be headstrong. And you, Taurus, wow, I just got this for, <clears throat> for Aquarius reading. Some of you might be involved with an Aquarius. Um, are coming across as the horse. So this could be you or your partner. Um, typically, I would say the ram would be like Taurians um, because you guys are pretty fixed. You're a fixed sign. Um, you could be stubborn, fixed in your ways. You're definitely tenacious. Go after what you want. But I pulled this on your partner, so some of you could be involved with somebody similar. Um, but you're coming across as the horse, which means that you are adventurous, more adventurous than you've ever been. You're wanting to explore new territory. You're probably interested in new and different things. Um, it goes well actually because Uranus just moved into your sign. Uranus is all about new and exciting, adventurous, freedom, freedom versus relationships. Um, so your partner could see you as somebody that's hard to tie down right now or acting a little bit, you know, more free willy. Um, but the horse is really adventurous and wants to try new things and, and explore. So you could be out dating more or wanting to date more. Um, and your partner could be like, hey, you know, what's going on with you? I want to. I want to solidify something here. Um, but both energies are very good for each other. I mean, the ram and the horse go really well together in terms of both of you uh, being adventurous, both of you overcoming obstacles. The horse is known to overcome obstacles. Um, but your partner could see you as somebody that's difficult to lock down right now. Um, maybe it's just for this week or the next couple of weeks that they're feeling this way. Or the roles can be reversed. Taurus, this could be you, and this could be your partner. You trying to figure out where do you stand, what do you want, what's going on. And the horse is somebody that's a free spirit that enjoys socializing, um, maybe hasn't been in a rela long-term relationship in a while. Somebody that just enjoys having fun, 
playful energy, um, but courageous. Uh, so it's interesting to see that the ram and the horse are here because I do feel like, I feel like you guys are a really good match. And I feel like um, there's somebody here that wants an answer to something and somebody could be trying to avoid it or somebody could be, um, you know, ap appearing like they're uncatchable. Um, a very experimental social kind of butterfly person I'm getting from the horse. Um, but nonetheless, let's take a look and see where this is going. So please keep in mind that you could be either the horse or the ram um, and vice versa. So let's see what's going on between the horse and the ram. Can you tell me more about this relationship? Can you give me more information with regards to the ram in Taurus's reading? All right, so for some of you, there's been some heartache going on with the three of air for Taurus. Um, some of you are in separation. Some of you felt like, you know, maybe if your partner is this horse, you've been trying to lock down a commitment and they haven't been willing to give you that answer. For some of you, um, this could be a player type energy, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. It just means that there's somebody that just doesn't like to be locked down. They just like to go have fun and, you know, but we're gonna find out more about the relationship dynamics as we go along, but there's definitely some heartache here, some betrayal. If this is a friend or a family member, some of you might've felt betrayed, um, but you're definitely, um, there's no doubt about the three of air being a heartache. This is not gonna apply for all of you in this particular reading, so please keep that in mind. Not all of you, some of you are in a happy relationship and some of you are trying to get to know somebody, so if this resonates with you, then it's for you. Can you tell me more about why this three of air is here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising? Love reading. What is this three of air about? Now, cross watchers, this could be you that got hurt by the Taurus, and Taurus, this could be you that got hurt by the other person, or we're going to find out more right now. Why is the three of air here in Taurus reading? All right, so this is the Ten of Fire, which is a Ten of Wands. Something was heavily weighing. One or, one or the other might have put some pressure on the other person, and if it's the ram putting the pressure on the horse, the horse felt burdened, felt burdened, felt weighed down. Um, they feel like this relationship is rather heavy for them because they're not used to this. They, like I said, I feel like, and this could be you, Taurus, where you just don't want to be weighed down right now. Maybe you've come out of a heartache and you're just taking your time right now as well. That's another thing that's coming up here. We do got the messenger of earth, so it's communication about stability or something. So yeah, I think that somebody here, either one of you, wanted to solidify a commitment, okay? And there was communication about it and one of you felt burdened by it like oh no this is too heavy this is a heavy card the tenant fire like uh i'm carrying too much it's too heavy it's too heavy for me communication about starting something solid in a relationship and somebody got hurt by the answer here or by the behavior or maybe no answer what else can you tell me Oh, we got a flyer on this one. Let's see. All right, we got the four of fire. So yeah, there's somebody wanted a commitment. Okay. Now this could be, you know, moving in together, a solid relationship commitment. Um, 
in this particular reading that's how I'm reading it because that's what the four of wands is it's about happy marriage happy home happy relationship and that's below the three of air meaning that somebody wanted that and it wasn't somebody felt burdened by it by the communication maybe one of you wanted to have a communication like where are we going what's happening and and wanted to have a solid commitment but it looks like the horse was not ready for this the horse was like hey I'm you know I, I, I'm not sure what I want I like to I, I'm free I'm a horse that's what I'm getting from there I'm free I just like to explore I like to have fun <sighs> and then we got the eight of fire so this is the eight of wands which is a lot of communication so some of you might have talked you might have had it out with each other like you know these are a lot of words said okay um a lot of words said because it's underneath this ten of fire and this one communicating about the relationship what's gone wrong what 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 needs to be done okay um but there was a lot of communication between the both of you whether it was positive or negative it looks like it was more on the negative side because of the three of air and somebody wanted a commitment but somebody was burdened by it and um, it doesn't mean they don't love you and they don't they're not going to change their mind okay this is just a short-term kind of overview of the relationship for those of you that this resonates what else can you tell me for Taurus Sun Moon or Rising so then we have the eight of swords And it's like the person, yeah, feeling caged, feeling mentally trapped, feeling mentally stuck, <laughs> feeling like, oh no, I can't believe this is like, um, we're having this discussion. It's like fear, like, ah, uh, oh no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I think this is coming across from the horse energy. Whoever the horse energy is, they were feeling like they were going to be trapped. And even though it's all mental and it's all like, oh no, if I commit to this or if I'm serious about this or they want to be only with me or whatever the conversation was because it's a messenger of something solid starting and it was it was heavy i feel heaviness and i think it's the horse whoever that is whether it's you taurus or the other person um they felt this heaviness like restriction like i'm going to be restricted like i'm in a cage now and it's all mentally because it's not really the reality of it um unless you know one of you is extremely controlling but I, I feel like I feel like they have a great fear of being locked down. How does this how does the Taurus partner feel about Taurus? Or what else can you tell me about the situation? Let's just pull out more cards about this and then we'll go into that. I feel like this person just isn't ready for a commitment. It doesn't mean they don't love you or love being with you or have fun with you because you guys look like a great match it's just that maybe they haven't been in a relationship in a while this is similar to the aquarius reading you may want to check that out yeah i'm seeing the messenger of water in reverse okay next to the eight of earth so some of you have been been with this person eight weeks eight months eight days whatever but you've invested time into the situation and you want to know where it's going and you wanted to communicate about how do you feel and it's like it either got turned down or, or neglected or, or 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 wasn't followed through on it and or they're not expressing how they feel to you what else for Taurus this is for sun, moon, or rising. Please listen to your rising or your moon sign if this doesn't resonate with you. Yeah, somebody's afraid to take the leap. 
somebody is totally afraid to take the leap of faith or to start something here and this is like the full in reverse is like afraid fear of it so I don't feel like this person doesn't love and care about you or doesn't have strong feelings for you especially for those of you that are invested I feel like they might be scared like feeling this is like oh my god prison like I oh no I'm scared and this burden uh, this burden up here okay this communication about where are we going are we gonna have a commitment you know I want to get serious and it's like the horse is just like uh like whoa like and it doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you and then the emperor came out with the full too so this could be a person that's very um you know uh difficult to to get to express themselves they're very together could be a person in power could be a person that's successful somebody that controls other people manages other people something like that so for some of you it could be a leo or an aries i do have the ram card there um but they're, they're uncertain, they're afraid to take a leap, they're afraid to, to move forward right now. And I think they're afraid of commitment, to be honest, from what I'm seeing here, if this resonates with you guys. Um, they're they're simply afraid of the commitment. Now, does it mean that it, they're not gonna commit? No, it doesn't, this is just, you know, a, a temporary two week love reading um, for the current situation. Um, but it looks like they're, somebody got, somebody's hurt over this for sure. They wanted a commitment, they put in some time and, or they wanna like know where they're going or at least have, have them for themselves. Like, you know, are you being exclusive or something like that? And this person's afraid to they're afraid to, to, to jump into this because they have a lot of fear, a lot of fear, anxiety, feeling of being trapped, feeling like, oh no, this is the end. You know how people get like that sometimes, especially if you're the horse. But it doesn't mean they can't fall in love and it doesn't mean they can't commit because under that we got the messenger of air, which is communication. Could be a younger air sign, sun, moon, or rising, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, but communication and then went through that we got the magician which could be trying to think of clever way to communicate um, with you without giving you exactly what you want yet like they're holding out or holding off but they still want you and they're going to communicate with you um, but the magician is like being very clever um, this person can have a lot of charisma they're very charming um, you know, I feel like it's like they're going to come up with something clever to kind of avoid getting for sure about it. But they do have a lot of passion. Could be a younger fire sign, too. They have a lot of passion for you. Um, but this could be somebody that comes in and out of your life um, inconsistent. But I feel like they're going to try to find a clever way to communicate with you because they still want to see you and they still want to keep things going. Um, because they do, they're, they are very attracted to you. I just think this is a person that's very hard to lock down. That's what I think for right now. Um, <clears throat> and for some of you, it could be an air sign, sun, moon, or rising, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I have Leo. I have a fire sign. I have Aries. I have um, a water sign. So take your pick here. But, um, yeah, and then under that we have the hero fat in reverse, which is fear of commitment. <laughs> Lack of commitment, fear of commitment. So it's... And then under that we have the two of air, which is like feeling like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. So no matter what I'm pulling out here, this is what I'm getting for this reading, you guys. For those of you that this does resonate with, that you're in love with somebody or trying to make a commitment with somebody who you've been dating or seeing for a little while and, and you're trying to figure out where we stand and this person's been avoiding it and they feel like just know that they're it's not that they're a bad person or anything they just have they have serious um commitment phobia issues and they it, it, i can see all this fear anxiety and like oh heavy heavy weight going on it could be an air sign fire sign we have all of them here actually you know this is the way it works out um air fire Leo, Emperor, anybody in, in management, supervisor, anything like that, Queen of Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, 
and then a messenger of earth which could be an earth sign sun moon or rising but for those of you this applies this person has serious um commitment issues so as of right now um i don't see a commitment coming so for those of you that this applies um you have to check out next time's reading or you can um, contact me for a personal reading at www.alumastrology.com and I can look into this particular situation and see if anything's going to change um, for you. But it's better to do personal readings because it's specific to you and what your situation is to find out the outcome. But if this does resonate with you and you'd like to know more, um, I can do a personal reading for you. Otherwise, uh, you can just visit my site at www.alumastrology.com just to read all about astrology or to look at the types of readings I offer. Um, I hope that some of you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And until next time.